What's up? Sorry this isn't actually a flash video. I just really wanted to make that effect. I might make a flash video though. I have not been on YouTube for quite some time, but that has to do with mostly me trying to find a job in college. But that's okay now. It's the summer, so yes. I thought it might be a good idea to show progress videos of um, stuff that I do throughout the summer because um, I'm, a, I'm a design student, so I kind of have to keep it together. You know, I can't like slack off too much because if I do, I'll get destroyed. So I thought maybe I can find some like contests to enter and stuff. I mean, I've been doing this for the past couple of years anyway, but might as well keep at it. So I have a daredevil design I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's for a Marvel contest that Liss is uh, holding. I actually already submitted a Black Panther design to that contest. You can see the image next to my face. See it? You can see a higher resolution of the image down in the description. There is no progress video for that, unfortunately, but there will be for this one. So let's get started. I began with looking at the different characters Dudley submitted for the contest at the time, and once I chose Daredevil, I kept in mind his abilities and environment, planning out my composition from there. After some development of the design, I sketched a rough draft of my composition, which also doubled as my inking template once I scanned it in and added a blue filter. I don't have a licensed Photoshop yet, but that's okay, I have my trusty pal GIMP as my primary software. I'm more familiar with GIMP anyway. Production started off with the foreground of the design using the inkings I did earlier. And for color, I wanted to express a warm tone for the design, as Daredevil's character is heavily focused around red. <laughs> when approaching the background, I initially wanted to do it digitally, but afterwards realized it'd be better to traditionally ink it. This would help both the foreground and background seem like they belong in the same composition. Another important element of the background was the radar style rings, which I also decided to ink traditionally. After all the groundwork was done, I created a mask for the design in order to help it blend better on a shirt, and also refine any part of the design I felt needed more work. Now, you guys get the luxury of seeing this video and looking at pictures and everything is going very swiftly. Now, I have a crappy laptop and I have a uh, have spent a lot of time on this, like more time than you would have if you had a better computer. I mean, look at this. Somebody look at this. I'm scaling the thing. Anyway, so that for the most part was my process of how I made noise. There's a high-res version of the design on my DeviantArt page, link in description, for the masses to see. Let me know what you guys think of the design as well as this video. Now, time to send us to Threadless. I won't know if any of my designs will be picked until later in the year, but wish me luck, guys. Before you go, I wanted to know what your input was on me making a series of drawings throughout the summer of hands. Not only would this help me practice drawing hands for uh, industrial design and all that good stuff, but it'll be kind of fun because the idea behind drawing the hands is to uh, show different characters. So, for example, Spider-Man doing this mess right here, or Iron Man shooting a repulsor ray. And uh, it'd be cool to see how distinguishable these characters are just from their hands, you know, kind of a... Showing, showing the power of the, the character designs. Let me know if that sounds like a cool idea. I probably was gonna, still going to do it because um, it's lit!